Zertheim. Let's see what he's got. So he's got Legacy Engram is the heavy weapon. So reminder, this is a year one um, heavy weapon, and it's biased towards heavy weapons you don't already have. Now this is my PS4 account, which I've got a newly leveled up Titan. Um, I've only had enough coins to buy one thing, and that was the Immolation Fist, which I would definitely recommend. Grant's Explosive Pyre. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, but that means you can use Flame Seeker. So Flame Seeker, your Hammer of Soul will alter its flight path to seek out enemies. That's very useful. And Explosive Pyre. Enemies failed by your hammer explode, chaining fiery solo damage to others. So a chaining reaction, basically. Um, so that's useful in PvE against grouped up enemies, and also in PvP, especially like six v six game modes. So we can use that, and but we've also got this from the the armor. So that's um, that's very useful. And then increased increased melee attack speed, very useful in PvP, and increased reload speed with hand cannons. Again, also if you use hand cannons as your primary, that's um, some pretty damn good gauntlets there. Celestial Nighthawk, the year two version for the Hunter. Um, I would definitely recommend this. This is a pure PVE um, art piece of armor helmet. So grants six times golden gun damage. So useful against end bosses. Um, you get a lot more damage from your super, so that's very useful. Gain bonus super energy on grenade kills and bonus grenade energy on all pickup. Again, useful PVE perks, so definitely recommend that. And finally, Warlock gets the Heart of the Praxic Fire, the year two version of that chess piece. For Sunsinger, I probably wouldn't recommend this. I never really use this in the year one. When Radiance is active, increased agility and decreased ability cooldowns. Meh. I mean, there's there's better chess pieces than that. That give you know that's the main perk. Increase the amount of scout rifle ammo. I don't really use scout rifles that much. And reduce incoming void burn damage. I don't really like those kind of perks. It's hard to measure their their effect. So, personally, you know, I would buy all three if you know I buy everything if I've got enough coins, which I do in my Xbox account. But if I had to, you know, not buy one, it would definitely be not this one. I don't use the year one version. I didn't I hardly used it. Um, these two are definitely very useful. And then what else we got? We got the exotic engram. I I won't buy buying any of these on the Xbox. I think I've got tons of helmets from that from the uh, you know the week one where we had to um. We have the uh, the engram farming, so I've got a ton of those. And then you've got the usual three of coins and heavy ammo, and then we've got we've got a vehicle upgrade, ammo coil, and void driver. I've never ever even looked at those, <laughs> and obviously the exchange for the motor lights. So that would be my recommendations for this week.